This is a cuckoo wasp. It is one of a very large cosmopolitan group of over 3,000 described species of parasitoid or kleptoparasitic wasps, often highly sculptured with brilliant metallic colors created by structural coloration. It's not clear what, if any, purpose the metallic iridescence serves, but back in 2009, scientists discovered that this lit-from-within quality comes from light refracting through open spaces between six layers of cuticle in their tough exoskeletons. The surface of the cuckoo wasp's exoskeleton is covered in tiny, dense pits, which gives them an almost glittery appearance. It's clear to see why they've been nicknamed emerald or jewel wasps. Despite their beautiful coloration, cuckoo wasps are even more sinister than parasites. They fly mainly in the hottest and driest months of summer, preferring subtropical and Mediterranean climates. Favoring dry areas and sandy soils, each species is confined to a narrow type of microhabitat where adults may rest or find hosts to parasitize, for example on bare soil or on dead wood where other solitary wasps have their nest holes. Parasites will just take what they can from their host, and if they can keep on taking for the rest of their life, that's enough for them. But cuckoo wasps are called parasitoids, where they feed on and actually kill their hosts. They're also kleptoparasites, because they steal their host's provisions before they kill them. Like the cuckoo bird, cuckoo wasps will infiltrate the nests of other wasps and bees, and lay their eggs alongside their host's offspring. Once these eggs hatch, the young cuckoo wasp's larvae will feed on food stored in the nest for the host's offspring, such as a paralyzed spider or caterpillar. When that food supply dries up, they'll turn on the host's offspring and eat those too. Cuckoo wasps from a number of different species are found all over Australia, with Stilberm cyanurum being the largest and arguably the most beautiful. While normally cuckoo wasps tend to be found in green, blue, or purple hues, in the northern hemisphere, there are also red and gold cuckoo wasps, like this one, called Hedicrum rutilans, found in Brittany, France. If you're lucky enough to spot one of these beauties in your backyard, don't freak out too much about the prospect of a nasty sting. According to the Western Australian Museum, it's not actually clear if cuckoo wasps are capable of stinging, but it's best to be wary around the big ones. Female cuckoo wasps are widely believed to be unable to sting, the sting apparatus being reduced and supposedly non-functional, yet cases are known where people have received painful stings from larger species. A long, thin appendage may sometimes be seen extending from the tip of the female abdomen. This is not a stinger, but an ovipositor used for inserting eggs into a nest of a host. 